four, three, two. Let's go. Hey. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. You are now tuning into episode seven of the Off the Menu podcast. I am your friend, your host, Key, here with my brothers, my co host, Moose, P, and Tay, and the first lady in charge, IT technical support, Sifu Ying. Let them know, man. Let's get right into this. Welcome, welcome back, y'all. Episode seven. Oh, I mean, we really out here. I we know. doing this, huh? <laughs> um, lucky, lucky number seven. Is it? Is, do you think it's a lucky number? Uh, do you think it's one of your lucky numbers? Not mine. Oh. Because I never hit on roulette. <laughs> 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 I never hit on a 17 or seven. I would say three is my lucky number. Three? Yeah. Why is that? Um, I usually fuck up things about three times and I get it right the next third time. It's yeah, charm. third time's oh, wow. a charm. Yeah. That's a real you thing. Fuck up three you. times, or you uh, get it right the twice. fourth time. Uh, it varies See, a lot. Mm, no, yeah, that's a lot. That's it could be three or four. <laughs> uh, well, three <laughs> is because I am the third. But three plus four is seven. Oh, you know what's actually crazy? I don't know. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> three plus four is seven. He said. <laughs> <laughs> well, three. I am the third. Child. of three children. Yeah. Um, technically four children. Mm. Um, oh. so it is right. Three or four. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you mean technically. Uh, uh well, passing. my parents had a child before uh my older brother oh, and he had yeah. passed away. Oh yeah. not bad. You know, no, it's all good. There's a crazy story behind that too, but we'll save that for a special episode. Yeah, not not many people know that about it's their a family very, tree. It's like a very, I, yeah. I think I kicked him from for a while before he told me that he was uh, technically the fourth. And I was like, oh, what the mm-hmm. hell? Yeah, yeah a lot crazy. of a lot of people don't know, but it's not one of those things <clears throat> where it's like I don't talk about it because yeah. I'm actually very open. He about is, it. he is. Okay. You let, um, let us know. There's Nobody a very asks. there's a crazy story with my relationship with him, yeah. with my uh, oh, brother really? that had passed away. Yeah, it's really? kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, we'll go ahead and get into another yeah, episode. Yeah, sorry. We'll let, yeah, yeah. A little get them know moose a little later. You know, moo <laughs> and moose. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> about moose. Maybe episode 33 out there. More about moose. So 33 lucky or numbers. Yeah, 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 double, yeah, yeah. Double, double, double luck, huh? Okay. Yeah, baby. But as as uh, Boo Boo announces uh, episode seven right now, I kind of want to get into some um, some more inspirational, aspirational topics. Uh, we recently had our pop up here and let's just talk about overall experience. Let's let people know how we felt and the, the, the gratitude we have towards our, you know, supporters yeah. mm-hmm. for showing up and, you know, showing us love. And then and the, the negatives, maybe we'll have a negative side of it. Like what did, what is something that you, your takeaways were, or if there were any, or if you guys had something to say about it. Um, and we had a special guest, uh, future there, uh, P, P dot S dot Mel. Yeah. P S. P S Mel, which is dot P S P dot S dot dot Mel. Mel, okay. Yeah. Follow on Instagram. <laughs> Who is Moose's sister? I'll put her um, uh, her Instagram in our description box just to let you guys know who she is. Mm-hmm. And thank you for showing up, uh, Mel. Shout really appreciate her, it, dude. Like yeah. that, she has some fire shit. Yeah, self like, yeah. self drawn art stuff mm-hmm. that she Amazing. loves, stuff that she's Amazing. passionate about. And Beautiful. When people are walking around like, do you have prints? Like, honestly, it's not my art, but we will get her on that. We yeah. I'm letting Mel know right now. Get on that, you know. We working it, baby. <coughs> yeah. But Very we only proud. gave her. We literally told her like two days in advance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we, we just wanted to get her a place to showcase her stuff. Yeah. She showed out though. She brought some really cool pieces, man. Yeah. Um, one of the my favorite piece that she had in there got bought. Sad about that. <laughs> original. <laughs> no. Original Shit's, itself. It was too. original. It was, you know, piece inspired. Too. Yeah. yeah. Like a lot. She's been working really hard on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's been years and years in the making. So. Yeah. I'm very yeah. proud. Very proud. But yeah. Um, go ahead and talk about your overall experience. Yeah. So uh, me first, of course. I always answer first. What's up with that? You know what? You know what it is? Is to give the other guys the other guys to think about. <laughs> <laughs> it's because the, the the crazy thing is that we do know that sometimes who hasn't seen a movie or a show or do we mm-hmm. talk? We, we mm-hmm. get in and talk about some topics. So <laughs> I let Boo Boo hear you <laughs> I gotta talk, reflect. and then he has to reflect. And <laughs> we're like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know, because of I threw the superhero question at him the first time mm-hmm. and hit him first. He would have been like, oh, fuck. <laughs> but then no, I started saying, true. you can name whatever you want. And then he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's name this. Yeah. Let's name this. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's more of a nostalgic guy, I think. I think Boo Boo is more 
because he has children, he's more of a heartfelt type guy. Like he doesn't waste his time with anything. He likes to do certain things mm-hmm. um, with his family. So <clears throat> it's called a uh, human optimization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, actually, this, since we're talking about the superhero stuff about episode six, huh. what, was what is our team called? Oh my god! If you guys don't remember <laughs> our superpowers, necromancer, super fast Wi-Fi guy, you know, he, I think he's a uh, Google Google fiber speed. <laughs> 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 and then we had uh, 3P Harrison, printer. 3P printer. Yes. He could make up material and 3P. make things of it. 3P um, printer. And then I had the power to see an hour into the future for myself. Or if I touch someone, I can see 10 seconds into their future. Yeah. Well, so I, I still think you deserve a little bit more time. Well, when we go to more super, well, obviously there's more superhero <laughs> stuff we can talk about. Oh. Maybe I'll rethink my answer. The team name. Um, we, didn't even think about we didn't even think about this. Maybe we should let the crowd is uh, uh, name yeah, us out with comment, the audience. Yeah, comment, comment, down. comment down below. Yeah, please, no, no, so, no please. fuck shit. No four yeah. stooges or something. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing crazy, y'all. Let's really give us a name based off our superpowers. Uh-huh. <laughs> Google Fiber. <laughs> like, well, they're, all of them are so fucking different. Yeah. Geek Squad. Geek Squad. <laughs> <laughs> Be creative. Please. Brought to you by Best Buy. <laughs> I was say. Oh Be God. creative. All right. Yeah. yeah, but let's go back into the experience that we had oh, at the pop up. We yes. had it on May thirteenth, eleven to three p.m. Mm-hmm. Um, we showcased a few pieces of stuff that you had designed, right? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, I do would like to announce that if you guys are not caught up with who we are, really, go back to episode two and then come back to episode seven, and then you guys kind of know who we are. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, takeaways from the pop up. Thank you guys for coming. Um, shout Tay and out I, thank you. Shout out to everybody. But Tay and I have done, and Key too. We've done like a ton of pop ups at this point. Mm-hmm. I forget which one or what number this one is now. If fifth or sixth, maybe, maybe. Uh, like I'll hold on. First pop up. More about nothing. Twenty seventeen. Uh-huh. Yeah, did we do that. Twenty seventeen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We did. Um, the uh, dollar in a dream. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was the Nimbus and off days throwing it uh, together. But we did that one. Um, we two, did two sneaker exchanges. Mm-hmm. The sneaker exchanges that we had come up with as well. Mm-hmm. This, so that's a, a lot of people don't know that our names were attached to this stuff. We and, helped co- make it. Yeah, happen. we made things yeah. happen. You know, and, produced. Uh, uh, and what else? Was that it? That might have been it. So this did we do another personal one? one? I don't did remember. One, you guys did one at the house, remember? Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> the mid when midnight strikes. Oh, well, COVID, COVID pop up. I don't think that counts. Uh, well, we no, we did uh, over at Varley's at your at your shindig. Yeah. Kinda, yeah. 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 That was yeah. Kind of yeah. a little. It was a little. Like, it was a little Valentine's Day event. So yeah. Yeah. this one was that our one sixth. Yeah, yeah. we've well, done a few. Love. We've yeah, done a few. Yeah, we've done a few. Um, Oh, but even Paris too. You glow up stuff. Yeah, yeah. I've done a, I've done a handful yeah. of events. Yeah. Not necessarily pop ups, but we we done a handful of events yeah. before. They we threw stuff together. So we've yeah. all done a little bit. Um, it just to me, it just feels like work. Um, yeah, I uh, think we're just out there. Just another day. Mm-hmm. Just another day, making sure that we're doing good. It's Everybody's fun having work, a good though. time. It's fun work. It's fun work. Um, yeah. so for me, I just wanted to make sure that we just provided the vibes and right. we just did a good job. And when I'm in the thick of it. I'm just really kind of moving. And plus, yep. we have Ying. She was holding down the fort, making Always. sure everybody was taken care Always. of at checkout, yeah. um, grabbing all the sizes. Shout out Sandy, too. Um, yeah. So I was Thank just moving. You, I was moving all around. We're all mingling. We're all uh-huh. working. So it was good. Yeah. I'm very proud of what we're able to do. Um, but for me, it's hard to say because it's just working. The first the one. The yeah. It's the first one of a comeback of plenty. And, yeah. Yeah. and I speak of comebacks because me and Moose also – Always had this goal to do comebacks like how K pop groups do yeah. it. And it's like, it's a funny thing. Like uh, every time they come back and make music, they call it a comeback. Mm-hmm. Like they <laughs> fell off and shit. <laughs> it's tight. But and it's then, funny. And this one was very much more special because I got to invite my sister to come show out her, mm, her artwork. And I've been trying to get this girl to really put her art first and really come out and just showcase it whether yeah. it's an oh, exhibition or selling your prints anything like, yeah you know i just want her to do it so it was really nice to see her um be a part of the community that we've yeah. grown um and then that we've been able to be a part of so yeah i like um, that um <clears throat> she was there and it touched our group of mm-hmm. people that support us you know yeah yeah and then everybody got to see it everybody was having a great time yeah, yeah. Um, and they're like dude this artwork's sick who did i was like oh that's my sister bro yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. that's what people were telling me i was like oh, who's got a sister I'm like, <laughs> yeah, he got an older brother too. Yep. You know, like, <laughs> yep. He's like, he's a child of children, uh, the third child. Mm-hmm. And um, <clears throat> so, when, like, when people ask, like, oh, they don't really know much about Boons. Yeah. I mean, I like the <laughs> little, uh, what is it, anonymity to it all. Um, I, I remember <laughs> even when I was trying to make up <laughs> Moose Woods. <laughs> 
I'm Batman. <laughs> but uh, when I was making uh, Moose Woods, I didn't even want to show my face. Yeah. I wanted to be completely mysterious. Mascot. You want to have a mascot. Which mysterious. It's my, it's my different <laughs> side because I am, I am like an introverted extrovert. Everyone is. Yeah. I feel like every, a lot of people are. A lot of people are. I, yeah. I really enjoy. Ways, yeah. Yeah. I really enjoy my personal life. I really enjoy <laughs> just having things to myself. Right. Um, and I feel like I wanted a piece of that with my art. Um, mm-hmm. But when it came down to it, we're doing this thing, so my face is out here. So that's how. Yeah, I, everyone's how gonna know you work. anyways. Now you got the podcast world. We got mm-hmm. the off the menu. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah show your handsome no, face, dude. What's yeah, dude. Oh, thank when you. Until, when until Moose uh, hits October, like, he, he has a goal in mind that he's <laughs> let us go. know. There we go. Be, I used to call him Handsome Squidward. He used to. <laughs> what the used fuck? To. God. And then I gained a little weight, and now yeah. I'm just handsome. You, that, not, not Squidward anymore. Just handsome. <laughs> I'm just That's handsome. All. Oh fuck though. No, you guys should have heard the when I first said that. He's like. Oh my god, yeah. I was like, I never thought that, but it makes stayed, so much sense. You stay inside type shit? No, I just no. look like handsome Squidward. His, he had, his shape was like square. <laughs> you know, you know what handsome Squidward looks like, right? Is that one is that one episode where he whoof, and know, then he chiseled it, chiseled yeah, muscles yes, okay, everywhere? Okay, okay, I got okay. the that high used to be, Yeah, that used to be. I just moose. kept thinking of Squidward's nose, so I'm like, he doesn't no, have Squidward's nose. No, 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 no. <laughs> there's, there's not the gone. nose. There, there's there's a different part where he is handsome Squidward. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But so yeah. I called him that one time and he was like, Oh my god. It's a very fitting description. <laughs> very fitting. <laughs> he, he went, I think he went to the mirror right after. He said, You're right. I was like, damn. <laughs> no, it was perfect. It was perfect. Hilarious. <laughs> yeah, but that was my takeaways. Okay. Yeah, no, and um, like I said, shout out to your sister for actually being there. And then Amazing, it's, yeah. it's, it is a nerve-wracking thing. We, mm-hmm. I think we've done it plenty of times now. Like, the nerves never get over it until you're done. Yep, mm-hmm. you know? exactly. Yeah. The nerves are part of it. Always use it to your advantage because the day's coming no matter what. Yeah. So there's yeah, no right. reason to step back, no reason to hesitate. It's true. Um, yeah. yeah, and it's just like another day for us. And plus, I've worked... Many retail days where we get fucking yeah. slammed. Yeah. So uh, it's just part of the grind. Yeah. And I feel like the group we have um, kind of sets it apart what we can do. You know, we have, when I, this is the first time we did a pop up together and we had your group of friends come, uh-huh. right? Yeah. Yeah. And that kind of, that dynamic definitely shifted. Oh, yeah. And it was a, no, it wasn't a bad thing, but oh, yeah. I felt. A, d- a different presence in there and I was like not the normal people yeah that, it's a different you know people that are and coming to yeah. show support yeah absolutely and that's cool though that now that we have a member that on the outside of us because mm-hmm. our groups are pretty much similar solidified yeah yeah our groups same. are well you you see our groups every weekend you the same people we've talked to for the last 10 years we have mm-hmm. you know our homies from the rookies we have the more about nothing guys we have just different groups of friends that just be doing different things, and mm-hmm. but they all mesh in this household, right. and um, I think that's where the dynamic shifted. I was like, oh wow, this is crazy. Seeing and unfamiliar faces, yeah. And your friends yeah. were like talking about the clothing and uh-huh. like they actually bought a few crew yeah. and about bought a couple t shirts. So let's go ahead, and, let's go ahead and talk about you. You know, like let's. How was it your was, first experience? It was great, man. Um, to be honest, like it's I had nerves in a sense. Um, it wasn't anything crazy for me. Um, it's just that kind of, I didn't set any expectations, you know? Yeah. Um, I was just excited Yeah, yeah. to yeah. kind mm-hmm. of experience this with you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, and once again, we saw a bunch of familiar faces, but at the same token, we saw a lot of new faces as well. So oh, that yeah. was really dope and I was really mm-hmm. happy for that. Um, and it was cool because boo-boo, <laughs> boo-boo being boo-boo, but I was just hustling. And selling these motherfuckers yeah. Yeah. at the front of the door. Yeah. Hey, this is on the got. streets. This is what we got. <laughs> you like this? Which one you like? We got it for you. Even got vapes. You know, talk to nice. You know, <laughs> secret That's, menu stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Secret That's menu. Shit, no, but it, I, I was. And honestly, I was pretty drunk. Not gonna lie. Um, oh, I got. Me. I got the people <laughs> drunk that day. Oh, that drink, that, we, that uh, drink was fire. We always yeah, like special a couple drinks. Yeah. But I had a good time. It was very fun. We were mingling. Um, and once again, like I just, we just, I want to be able to bring. People that you guys, I don't say you guys couldn't bring, but like in the sense of that you haven't brought more. Them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just to add, more. Yeah, to yeah. add, add to, to it. Because yeah. right. once again, we are people that have a lot of friends. Like individually, yeah. we have a lot of friends. Right. Um, mm-hmm. And like I said, I, I have I have a ton of friends as well. And it, it, sh- it, sh- it shows once again, because everybody somehow, once again, is connected. And you get them all in the same room. room. Right. Yeah. Right, right, right. Um, it was awesome to see. I, was, I loved it. Yeah. I loved, yeah. Uh, I loved it's that, yeah. such a melting pot of things when you are able to bring so many different people together. And exactly. And you're just like, wow. Like these people, right. like all the people that come out and support us just individually already, but to see them support the brand as well, mm-hmm. that's just a big actually, step for us. And actually you know? buying. Like, right. you know, mm-hmm. not just, once again, showing up, 
Love it. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Appreciate it. Always, you know. Right. But buying as well. Oh, thank you so much. Once again, I, it just mm-hmm. helps supporting it gives, us. It, it gives, gives us, us more opportunities. Exactly. Yeah. Right. And mm-hmm. it gives us more opportunities to grow. And that all this is, we want to return this in our reality, right? We want to build a community. We want to give love. We want to share. That's what it's about. Um, so yeah. like it's, it's a great experience. Once again, I just want it to be bigger and, and better each time. Yeah. Of course, that's the always plan. looking for always. growth and looking for, you know, huge thing. I was a part of the last event I did with Glow Up was a, a fashion event. And yeah. we had seven different brands. And we actually did a fashion show. And we had our individual artists like JJ, Jermaine, shout out Jermaine, Dre. Um, and then Mike Styles was there. A handful of artists that we had, um, Benji, perform. And then once again, we had seven different brands. And we had a runway. And we had mm-hmm. about 600, 700 people there. Um, about 1,000 in total. And we did it at the Western Library. So like... I've experienced stuff like that. So it's it's so it's very exciting what we can achieve. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I've done that with another group of individuals and we can do the same thing and, and more and once again collaborations and working with the right people and building those networks and then kind of just once again, Utah is a small place where mm-hmm. we all know each other in reality. Like we all yeah. know each other one way or another. And mm-hmm. I think that's just a great opportunity for us to just continue to grow and get bigger places and then Make those connections. Yeah, yeah that's definitely a thing, though, for sure. I think <laughs> our our key thing this year is um, as a collective, as a group of us, right? Our group, our group of males, and then our 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 female collaborative, right? Mm-hmm. Ying, Sifu, right? Whatever <laughs> you guys want to call her. The fact that us five can take the community and give back out right. is yep. another thing that I want to accomplish this year mm-hmm. when it comes 100%. to doing the pop up stuff. Hundred percent. So when we got back together, and I uh, remember I had just come back to you guys individually. I was like, yo, I think we can fucking do this shit. I think mm-hmm. we can do this shit for real. They were like, no hesitation. Let's do it. On the, yep. Whatever you want All us right. to do, tell us. Yep. Let's get back on this. Let's... And then and then for me, like, it's not like I'm trying to be a leader or anything, but for me to get everyone back together and just sit here in this room, talk about things we want to talk about, yeah. do our pop-up, have mm-hmm. fun with it again, it just... It's such a perspective change because when we first did it, it wasn't fun for me. Right. Mm-hmm. right. At least, you know, it was a, such a learning curve mm-hmm. yeah. that it wasn't as exciting. But now that I'm more hands on with the designing and the, the videos and all that kind of stuff, it's given me more life. Mm-hmm. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Life. yeah, definitely. And that's what 100%. it is. And yeah. I, th- I think, once again, like you said, it was a learning curve. So, like, it may not have been fun. <clears throat> yeah. But look at where we're at now. Right. And look at where you're at now, essentially. Yeah. And successfully, successfully, us starting this all over again has really changed, like I said, my mindset, my growth over the last few months, re- rekindling this flame right. mm-hmm. has um, lit the fire in me. Yeah. Right. And, well, you know, well, with this comeback, too, we have found out one thing or finally figured out one thing is that we just want to do what we want to do. Right. And we, before we're, when we were figuring out things before with our first couple of events, it was always trying to work with other individuals, this and that. And sometimes it just didn't cohesively work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then something we realized is like, we just need to do what we want to do. We need yeah. to do what more about nothing is truly. Right. So yeah. that I think that's why it made it more fun for us because we're really getting to be organic. We're really getting to tell our story. We're really getting to just be ourselves. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what um, but yeah, we'll get into a little bit more like that about that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, Boo Boo, your takeaways. You're you're a hustler, so Man, this shit, guy's out this there. Day. You know, so every day. this ain't nothing new for him. Um, every for me, day, I liked. It wasn't big, but it wasn't small either. Mm-hmm. And I'm right. I'm I come I, you know coming from a dollar and a dream and the pop ups that I'm usually going to and things like that. Um, it was just refreshing just to just to see how good of a turnout it was. Um, with you know, just a handful of of different people. Right. Um, we had peace people there. A few of my people slid through, but I'm used to like super crazy big right. type things yeah. coming from a dollar in a dream, and that was like overwhelming. Yeah. Um, in a mm-hmm. sense, it's like holy shit. Like no You're time to sit around, down. No working. running around. Yeah. Uh-huh. Everything right. Uh-huh. So coming, uh, switching it up, coming back to just the smaller uh, pop ups. I like it. I like yeah. it. It's mm. much easier to manage. 
Um, you can literally talk to everybody in the room, right. get to everybody, make yep. sure you're, you're selling everybody. So I liked it. I liked it a lot. It's intimate. It's intimate. Yeah, it's, it's, right. yeah, it's more yeah. intimate, All, right? That's yeah. what it's mm-hmm. about. Once you get the human experience. About yeah. It. yeah. Yeah. And and then that. you know I hustle all day, so that's yeah. just, that's just work to me, you know. So I I like it, but this is like fun work though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Because I'm selling. We're, we're selling our shit, yeah. you know, yeah. and that's that's a good feeling. Is uh selling selling something like that we own, made, we created, yeah. mm-hmm. you know. So I think that's. I think that was the the coolest part, um, you know, just because uh, we haven't done it in a long time. You know, this is like for reals, the comeback pop up. Mm-hmm. So just to see how good of a turnout it was. Um, and we always be putting everyone on when it comes like refreshments, drinks, whatever it might be. That's like mm-hmm. one thing I like about more about Nothing Pops is we always have. I mean, you, you come here for the, the shirts and stuff. You stay for the drinks. You stay for the vibes. You come yeah, and kick here, it, yeah. you know. You always will have something uh, in return back. You're not yeah. just coming here to buy a shirt. You're coming here to kick it. Feel the vibe, kind of get a glimpse into uh, the community, mm-hmm. eat some fucking fire ass food. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I liked it a yeah. lot. It was cool. Stay tuned though. Stay tuned because, you know, as he talks about doing the refreshments and stuff, <clears throat> we are going to start getting into the music stuff. Yeah. We're going to have one of us is going to be DJing. I'm going to force one of us to learn. You we know, got to try. I would love to. I would love to learn. <clears throat> it's just I'll go get everything set up. I'll get the mm-hmm. stuff. And I would like for us to stand out, you know, have a personal one of us, like mm-hmm. maybe each time. Yeah. Hey man, I make some fire beats on my iPad. No, I watched you. <laughs> he was like, moves. I'm like, have da, da, da. our own mix and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah like our own style. Like and remember, 100%. Remember yeah. on the freshman stuff too, that, that ain't nothing we just buy. You know, me and yeah. my mom, you know, shout out to moms for helping us out. She came and yeah, man. stuffed all Homemade, the chicken salad stuffed. sandwiches, you know. Yep, all day. She, and she, sliced. And like I, I prepped all the, the the chicken salad itself. She just stuffed it, sliced it, you know, everything. And then I did the ham and cheese. It's created with love. You know, yeah, no. It you, really is. It really, like, it I, really is. I, we really put our time into it. I was like, hey, mom, I need your help. Come help me. And uh, let's get this going. You know, I know she wants me to make us make it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she will do whatever. And right. that's, like, a beauty in it, too, in itself that, you know, growing up and doing this, my parents didn't believe in this shit. Right. You know, oh, they... Yeah. Putting some shit on a T-shirt and selling it, that's not where you make money. Mm -hmm. They're right. It's not where you make money. It's where you find good people. Absolutely. And I think that's what they are starting to see now is that when they come to the pop-ups and support, they're like, wow, this is so crazy. Mm -hmm. Like that you guys have this behind you guys and Mm -hmm. you guys can still make money and do this. And Mm -hmm. now they just believe. Like, Yeah. Yeah. It's not just a T-shirt. No, it's not yeah. just a t-shirt. It's Absolutely not. fucking it's not. Experience. Everything we put this in behind is a personal human experience. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Even um the design itself. Um, when I was working on the design, it I finished it at a very important day because that was the day my grandma had passed away. So yeah. mm-hmm. I remember doing it that and I was like, wow. And the yeah. message of it is nothing lasts forever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So right. it was a very, very special, special design for it us. It was a very design. touching moment yeah. too, because yeah. we had had a meeting right before that, right? Mm-hmm. And you're like, guys, I don't know if she's going to make it. And then I said, take some time off for yourself. Figure it out. You don't have to push it out. And Moose said, no, I'm going to finish it. And then I think that you knowing what was happening, that this was more meaningful for the rest of us as well. 100%. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It was beautiful. No. It was beautiful. It was, Bro, <laughs> it was. I liked it yeah. a lot. And that's, that's what I tell people, though. It's like one thing I learned from death is that it's a beautiful thing. Mm-hmm. Like May death's be the worst thing that may happen to us at the end of the day but for death to happen and for us to experience while being alive it's such a different take because Mm -hmm. when i go to funerals like i'm not supposed to go to funerals when i was young i was told not to go near death at all because you would you would interact with death later on and this is um and this is like from a spirit reader and that's what they told me they told my told my sisters and brothers that they would die from a car accident oh my god and so now they fear being in car accidents or being in cars and stuff. Yeah, no, that's crazy. <laughs> no, and this is like real life stuff. And yeah, yeah. dude, and like, when I tell you, like our family members have been like my brothers and sisters. They got in so many car accidents. It's fucking crazy that they're like I'm. It's blessed that they're still alive because mm-hmm. knowing that's the kind of stuff behind us. I'm like, this sucks. Yeah. At any given time, you know that yeah, is right. not may not be in their control, but mm-hmm. so I'm not supposed to be around death. I'm never supposed to be around it. Funerals, I think, is the big thing, you know, because it's probably where it's at. Mm-hmm. Um, but when my great grandpa passed away, I said I can't miss this, right? Because I missed, I originally missed my grandfather's death. He died in Laos. Mm, he okay. he left Utah. He left Utah, moved there. Um, not moved there, but he had got away from everything. And I already that moment he felt it. 
you know, he told us that he wanted to go home and do this. Mm. So not experiencing that, like how we should have hurt, you know? Yeah. And so when we did our grand, great grandfathers and just seeing family members I haven't seen in 20 years, mm-hmm. nieces, nephews, What's cousins, it? uncles, aunts. For one individual. Yeah. Yep. Again, for this one, one person touched one, everyone. Everybody. You know? You've had an experience. And and a, that was it. Mm-hmm. You know? And everybody. that's... That's why nothing lasts forever means so much to us. Yeah. yeah. For me, for, for us, for us, you know, oh, it absolutely. means much more, right? Yeah. So I think doing the pop up and showcasing that with you guys, like you guys may not have known the meaning, but we did. Right. And yeah. yeah. For the support you guys have brought into the group, thank you. Thank right? you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Like oh. me, I get emotional. I'm like, I'm tearing up over this because <laughs> yeah. Yeah. speaking about death, like it just it it baffles me. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, there's not it's much you can tough. say. It's a very right? tough subject. Yeah. It's wow. tough, but it brings a lot of people together. Mm-hmm. It makes you look at life a different way. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, it just makes you want to live for a reason. Yep. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. true. Yeah. And that's Absolutely. what we're going to do. Something, we're going to keep pushing something it. Something bigger right. than yourself. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Literally. Literally. Something yeah. just bigger than yourself. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, um, my key takeaways, though, from this is that we can't do it without you guys. We are going to yeah. do this for the community. Yep. And look, f- look forward to us doing some more stuff with local people and uh-huh. reach out to us. Right. We are willing to work with whoever as long as you guys have that same intake we do. Right. Mm-hmm. We want to keep going. We want you to keep going. And we don't want to have any differences. You know, right. we don't want to be indifferent about who we work with. We want to right. I want to fill your creativity through your work. Mm-hmm. Right. And I think I talked about this before is that working with someone like we do, right? And seeing the emotion put behind yeah. all the brand. It it lets uh, it lets me re know or like renown. It's a round thing that there is soul still left behind this, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, seriously. Yeah. And so I think that was my takeaway. And now seeing your sister there was like an amazing thing because that was the first time we had an outsider mm-hmm. come work with us. Mm-hmm. That's true. No, yeah. like we've had like we did the sneaker exchange stuff, but that was uh-huh. with other people, and we didn't really know them. It was uh-huh. just us and the rookies, you know. Yeah. And um, off days was the dollar in a dream. Mm-hmm. But there was just so many people, but we never had anyone locally right. come in and like showcase something. And I think, yeah. I think we want to work on that in the future. I'm my We're biggest do goal. More of it my sure. oh we yeah, my biggest goal for this, and I've let them know already it, that is, we want to do an art showcase in October of 2023. Mm-hmm. We want to rent out a big place. Of course, it would we would have to charge people to vend there and showcase their stuff. But from that, from now. Until then, I want to get to know a lot more people. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh right? yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> yeah. And we can do that. Yeah. Oh yeah, because yeah. we always want to. Yeah. yeah, we always wanted to serve a, like a platform. Yeah, right. for people to come and show well, their yeah, create a their platform stuff. Yeah. for people to kind of show off what they are and what they can become. Right. Exactly. And yeah, so hopefully we can start working with people here. I would like you guys to reach out in the comments section or. DM us on our Instagram. Yep. Let us know if you guys would like to collaborate. We'll let you know mm-hmm. if that's a smart thing or how we would come about this. And please, if you do um, want to collaborate, have a business proposal for us. Like I, on one side of the creativity, I want to work with everyone. But the other side, I want to see how business savvy most of these people give are. Give me a fucking PowerPoint. I, <laughs> ten give page. Plan. Give me a ten page PowerPoint. I need a PowerPoint. presentation. You know, Gross. thirty minute presentation with a PowerPoint. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, stay tuned for more stuff. Like we're not just gonna be doing the clothing stuff, the podcast stuff. I have been approached about us having our names on Apex um, tournament. Oh shit! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! So, oh, you yeah. Know, yeah, yeah I've talked about this before, but gaming Super tournaments. Smash, we're big on Apex, gaming. Yeah. Let's we let's all- fucking do everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah, Everything. more about nothing on Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> T Grizzly type shit, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, oh like, if you got a Twitch streamer out there that's mm-hmm. you would like a more about nothing t shirt, you want to get some sponsorship going, work with us. You know, yeah. we already got one. We shouted out last time D Boy, yeah, D Boy official. Mm-hmm. Yep. Follow him. Go check out his Twitch. He's he probably streaming crazy. right now as he we also, speak. He also mm-hmm. makes music. He makes music. He get crazy on um, Call mm-hmm. of Duty, and on 2K. fucking 2K. Yep. Like he's playing Apex right now, you know. So yeah, you know, stay tuned for our Apex players as well. We will be hosting a tournament with um one of our friends. Uh, you guys will get to know him later. Uh, maybe we'll have him as a special guest to talk about some stuff. Yeah. Um, he's getting that ready as we speak. He's yeah. been pitching ideas to me, and I said I don't know anything about the game, bro. <laughs> don't you? Yeah, you come to you me, gotta, you, you get the up, business, yeah. and I can get the people to sign up. You know, <laughs> we'll yeah. we'll have some type of prize for you. This first one might be free. 
you know, for a signups. And mm-hmm. let's just get things we going. We just want people to come and have fun. Yeah. And this is coming from a guy. Yeah. I don't play Apex. I don't play any of the. I don't, play Apex I don't play these new games that these kids be playing, bro. He said these kids. <laughs> yeah, these kids. I'm a single player gamer, so yeah, yeah, yeah. you guys already know that about me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was about to diss him, but whatever. Do it. Do it. <laughs> yeah. You suck at Naruto. <sighs> ah, this bitch, yeah. man. No, I'm the best. I'm okay. the whole cock. He said, I'm the best. <laughs> I'm the, I am the best. <laughs> I'm Batman. You better believe it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, finishing up the topic of the, you know, pop up stuff, I would like to go into now ins- inspiration changes, you know, and what inspires you guys to keep doing the podcast or keep doing the clothing, you know, as we keep moving forward? What's going to, What's going to hold you back and what's going to make you move forward? Because right now, after a pop-up, the, the, the foot comes off the pedal. Mm-hmm. You know, we've, we've had experience of burnout. We've had experience of slowing right. down after right. stuff, right? Mm-hmm. What is going to keep us going? You know, and uh, let's talk to our hustler first. Boo boo. How do you, baby. Uh, what is your inspiration right now? How can we keep going and how can we keep our foot on the pedal? So um, my inspiration right now is... Um, because I've seen it through my own music and uh, and my own things, I think it's just timestamps of progress, seeing where we started, how, how we're getting there, where we're going, and then you know, um, when we get to that moment in the future, being able to look back at everything, mm-hmm. um, that's that's gonna be the mo- uh, the one thing that inspires me. That's been the one thing that inspired me the, um, my whole life. Um, before we started this podcast, I was gonna do off days radio. Yeah. And I talked about this on Off Days Radio where um, my grandpa and, and the homies, P's dad, everybody, they would be um, kicking it. They would just be re- recording karaoke sessions yeah. and, oh, yep. and stuff, you know. Yeah. And um, <laughs> and my grandpa would do that um, a lot um, on his downtime. Yeah. And the, the craziest moment, uh, and, and also he was also very into um, documenting and filming all yeah. the Christmases, no, he really birthdays. Did. Yeah. Everything. So really I have home everything. videos of yeah. like all this shit, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but it was crazy after my grandpa had passed. Um, my grandma, she had all of these cassette tapes with my grandpa covering their, um, doing covers to their favorite songs. Mm. And um, I just remember seeing the joy on my grandma's face. She would be crying. Sometimes she would, she would listen to these karaoke, t- um, these cassette tapes and stuff. But it like put one thing in my mind, like, damn. I don't know if this was his intention, but like he left this behind for us. Yeah, yeah. Um, he left I mean, life for he you literally guys. Literally, like yeah. you know, yeah. we we can literally That's... hear his voice yep. on a, a on a cassette tape, and it's just him singing all of their favorite songs and shit. And then he did that with um with documenting. He documented everything. So after he passed, we'd watch all these things. We were like, holy shit! Like this is crazy. We were so young. All the Christmases he had yep. like a bunch of these uh these these uh, um these home videos. Um, that awesome. he made and after he had passed it's like um wow like he left this all behind for us um i don't like again i don't know if it's it was his intention yeah i don't know if it was intentional but <clears throat> that put one thing in my mind like damn i want to leave shit like that behind Ooh. for my kids yep. for my family for everybody else to see yeah. right so that's mm-hmm. why i'm doing off the menu that's why i'm doing off days that's why i did music mm-hmm. um just to leave a little bit of of me for when that time comes, man, you guys gonna have a plethora of all these crazy <laughs> verses yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and all these crazy things. And my go 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 through my notes when I die. You guys gonna see some crazy. <laughs> I better shit, yeah. I better hear, hear a Chief Keef <laughs> <laughs> Oh I better, my god! I better god. hear you. <laughs> 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 on some love so type oh, shit no. before oh, you no. die. Richard you know, love, boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh jeez. And that's I, it's, it, and I I know I know his grandpa. And, you know and yep. His grandma. I've known their family since I was born, pretty much. And mm-hmm. like when I would come visit, like I, I didn't really talk to Boo Boo as much because he was much younger. But his uncles, like our uncles, um, would show us this kind of stuff, mm-hmm. and I'd be like, "This is crazy." Yeah. Like the hear someone and leave a footprint still in this life. It's crazy, you know. Um, and then I think more so after you have kids, you're just like, "Man, what do you want to leave behind for your kids to remember yeah. you by?" You yeah. know, like the legacy that you have. And man, I don't have much to give. Um, I don't have a lot of game to give to them, but right, you know, right now at least. But yeah. in due time, like, um, who knows? This shit will be game to yeah. mm-hmm. This shit will be game to Nori. Like, we don't know how people, how our kids are going to, to perceive, perceive this, yeah. but how I perceived it mm. after my grandpa died, all the shit that he left, I was like, holy shit, like, this is crazy. 
Like this is and that's tight. why I say death is such a beautiful thing mm-hmm. because exactly beforehand you would never realize this kind of stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I think mm-hmm. like you know it touched us when we were part of when Moose's grandma had passed away, mm-hmm. and that moment I felt like it it would change the dynamic of our group. Right. wholeheartedly mm-hmm. you know yeah for we the had better. we yeah. had yeah we had moose on the design and he's like i said i literally said take your time don't rush it next day he said my grandma passed away mm-hmm. a few hours later he said design is done right. mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. and that's just crazy you know he he was just so ready for this just, moment and he knew he understand the what he needed to do and what he wanted to do for that special moment in their right. life. The power yeah. of emotion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes the best art, the yeah. no matter yeah. what emotion it is. Yeah. Yeah. I've always power been a believer in that. Yeah. yeah. And Absolutely. O- honestly, if you actually, like if people check out your sister's art, like Mel's art, mm-hmm. you can see who she is behind her art. Oh like, my like, God. She's yeah. such a loving person. Mm-hmm. She she yeah. really wants to give so much of herself to everything. <sighs> and I don't really talk yeah. to her like that, you know? You know, let me say <laughs> this about her. Um, this is probably her biggest flaw that i always try to get out of her she sees the beauty in all things Everything. yes 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 but yeah. not the beauty in herself yeah mm. and so when you i tell. see yeah when you mm. see her drawings there are a lot of um drawings with um like of different people different relationships different versions of love um and you can always see it's from a, a third person perspective <clears throat> yeah um which is beautiful too um but yeah she's always going on about how she is <laughs> The she, like my brother and I got all the good looks, which is not true, uh. which is not true, one hundred percent. So um, it's funny that you say that because it is very real. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Nuts. Yeah, but yeah, um, you know what are what are your inspirations now that we've done this and we're <sighs> back at it again? This, it's it's hard for me to say because it's kind of like how I answered with the pop up. It's it's work to me. Yeah, um, in a way. Uh, when will when do you think it won't feel like work? Um, here's the thing: I look at it as fulfilling work. Okay. I see it okay. as work because um, accomplishments it, succeeded you, in life as you mm-hmm. go. Right, like right. this is more uh-huh. than just regular work, right? Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, because your accolades are building now. When I jump on the computer, like the whole thing with Moose Woods is my happy place. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, and sometimes my happy place is just sitting in my room on my computer or just with the homies or just with uh, my loved ones. And it's a place where you can feel secure um, and just be yourself. Yeah. Um, so for me, I I want this to be my life, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's hard for me to say that it's like something grandiose, but it's really just writing a story that I'm happy about. Yeah. Um, and looking at something for the experience and not exactly the material thing, yeah. even though yeah. I love material things. <laughs> um, but and that's why we're here. Yeah. You know, we're, yeah. the clothing is all about the we material, love, but yeah. it's all about the emotion that we can put into it. Yeah. You know? It's mm-hmm. like, you know, that's just really, I just really want to write my story and have an experience that I'm proud of having. And of course, now that we're getting older, the biggest motivation is really creating a, a healthy life for myself yeah. right. and the people that are yeah. around me. Um, and, I'm, and I've had a lot of time to self-reflect. Yeah. Um, so I've noticed over the years, even throughout my entire life, um, I could be very self-critical. Um, so and I guess I'm being self-critical now because <laughs> I knew that I was always a very, I always saw myself as a very flawed person. I could be very flaky. I could be very scatterbrained. I could be very um, emotional, but not in a way that people would think I'm emotional in the sense I get stuck in my own emotions and I stay there and I kind of get lost in it, you know? So now that I see those in myself, I want to change it. Um, and I think the only way I'm going to is to really put my passion into my work, really try to be the person I want to be. And just notice that not every day is going to be the, like not every day you're going to feel amazing, but it's always chasing, um, that feeling of being a better person yeah. and really putting it into everything that we do. Holding yourself accountable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. holding myself accountable. Man. Yep. That's actually a big thing now. Mm-hmm. You know, like it, as we get older, um, yeah. accountability is one of those things that you don't have when you get mm-hmm. older right. because you just, you just feel like you put the blame on everything else in your life. Yeah. And then it's never and, fall, and that's the people that escape that way or just, for me, it's such a crazy thing that people escape that way. But that how they blame everything else except for themselves. Right. Mm-hmm. And they can't move forward from it. And that mm-hmm. kind of sets a lot of people back. You know? It sets a lot of people back. I've seen it yeah. happen a lot of times. Yeah. And I've also been on the back end of sometimes feeling like I was the one to blame in yeah. some mm-hmm. cases, right? Um, but it's just trying to be a better person every day. Yeah. Um, 
and also just wanting to be the person I want to be every day or yeah. Ryan, one day. Right? Yeah. I, I want to be Batman. One <laughs> um, and it's a it's just a it's a it's a growth but i do love what we do mm-hmm. yeah. we get together a couple times a week chop it up mess around talk like talk about stupid shit and uh it really brings me a lot of happiness and yeah. i feel like i'm in a place now um where i'm very much surrounded by the people i want to be surrounded by yeah, and i want to keep it that way that's and good. like let's also expand that circle you right. know what i mean well so yeah, it's a. I, I don't know if I even answered the question. No, no, really, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're, we're gonna go off yeah. in tangents. We're yeah. gonna talk about Always. stuff, but really, like if you understand what Moose was trying to say, there's just a lot of emotion behind it and rebuilding himself and mm-hmm. building the people around him the way he is feeling himself now. You know, and mm-hmm. he kind of just wants everyone to know that work on yourself and then work on the people around you. Because you are going to inspire them. You're going to have them doing what you want to, that you're doing. They're going to start fitting into the mold that you fit in. Mm-hmm. And it's gonna, it's just going to be a beautiful thing at the end of the day. And just, just yeah, write, chipping away, man. Yeah. Just write your story. Yeah. I've, been yeah. Seeing this, I've been seeing this quote on Instagram a lot. is like, success is measured by how many people you bless. Yeah. Mm. Right? Yeah. yeah. And it's like, man... Um, with what we're doing, man, we can bless a lot of people. We mm-hmm. can we can really take this off and, and feed people, and 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 not, and not even on a financial standpoint, but just inspiring people. Yeah, right? emotionally, just, mentally, mm-hmm. yeah. physically, exactly. right. doing everything and above is what we plan on doing here. Right. You know, as mm-hmm. as the collective of more about nothing off the menu, mm-hmm. off days, Moo Wood. Yeah. And I'm gonna have P go into a little bit what he's doing hey, here a little later, you know. Go. After we, you know, we complete this little inspiration part of it, oh, but, you yeah, know, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. But what you said is truly a beautiful thing in mm-hmm. finding you. yourself, and then finding yourself within other people. Right. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. that's the key takeaways for what yeah. we're still trying to say. Uh, yeah. I mean, I kind of had my isolated moment, mm-hmm. which I feel like I needed. And that's why I love the Batman movie so much. Yeah. <laughs> because he realizes that at the end of the movie. He's you know just in saying? the lab. Yeah, yeah. He's just in the lab. In the lab. And you yeah. can only do so much by yourself. Yeah, um, that's true. Man, not, we are not here to be alone. That's all I got to say. Yeah. Humans, yeah. we're not meant to be alone. Hell we're no. just not no. meant to be alone. Bro. No. You guys you guys know I feel like that too because uh, everyone, at the end of the day, a lot of, like if people don't actually know who I am, they come to the house on the weekends and they're like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> mm-hmm. You guys so are, much shit. there's people <laughs> doing karaoke, there's people gambling, there's yeah, people playing mahjong, they're dueling. playing rolling dive, playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh. And like, I'm telling you the melting pot that we have at the it's household true. that we provided, and you know, shout out to the wife for being able to give this to everyone mm-hmm. because if it wasn't camp. for her, refugee camp, <laughs> halfway <laughs> home, whatever you want to call it. I'm telling you, when people need to escape or people need to be alone or it's people want to be around other people, they come here. This you know? spot yeah. and they don't even know we have this office in the back where we shoot the podcast they yeah, think we're renting know. something out i'm like no come check it out <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah like yeah, i had yeah. the, the homie oscar he yeah he, he came back from my austin and oh, um, nice. he he was just talking and we just if anyone knows i know a lot of people <laughs> I've, I've known a lot of people i've known a lot of people for years so when i see like my group of friends now start hanging out a group of friends that i used to hang out it's such a funny thing because i've been around that i've been yeah i've been knowing them forever and we just I, he's like what have you been up to man I said, come check it out, man. Come, come in here, mm-hmm. and we're talking. And he's like, "Holy shit, dude! You yeah. like you guys are out here doing a podcast, you're doing clothing. You've changed so much from the person that I knew back in the day." Mm-hmm. He at one point he said, "I always thought you were just gonna be immature for the rest of your life." Wow. And that's what he said to me. And then I said, "I said, well, you know, people change." <laughs> and the way I was talking to him was like it's such an adult form of me. You know, I was mm-hmm. just like. I was telling him about how I meditate, how I'm trying to focus on my health, my mental health, my mm-hmm. physical health. Mm-hmm. I've been trying things differently every day. Like yeah. I'm fucking taking probiotics. I'm doing all Hello? this crazy stuff, you Hello? know, that I never thought that I would. But now I'm so focused on the grind of myself. Health. Longevity. I, mm-hmm. I want to be here. I want to yes. show people why we're here. And if I can't show people we're here forever, I want to do this. Right. And for long enough until people get inspired from us. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I want so. to help people. Right. And I, th- I tell people all the time is that if you need anything, come over to come to me. Yeah. If you're scared to come to me because you think I'm gonna judge you, come to my wife. Right. He's right? fucking mm-hmm. judging you. <laughs> I'm judging. I'm, he hey, definitely is judging. Hey, I'm judging you, but I'm gonna tell you why I'm judging you, and I'm gonna be straight up. I'm always gonna be straight up honest. You know, yeah. Steve, man. And I, straightforward. I think that's the one thing that when people come around here, they appreciate the most. Is that I'm not faking no shit. Right. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you straight up. If I don't like you, or if I'm why I don't like you, if what's going on. 
what your situation is. I'll tell you if you're wrong in your own situation because most people want to hear that they're right. You know? Yeah. Well, yeah. And most people will come here and be like, oh, fuck. Accountability. That Accountability, is. Accountability, Accountability. But enough of that stuff. Let's go into your inspirations right now, Pete. Tell us. And then Man. after you tell us what your inspirations are and why you want to keep doing this kind of stuff. And let us know a little background of your own clothing thing that you are okay. trying to, you know, put together. Okay. Yeah, because you haven't told me. Well, <laughs> it's tough, man. I, I feel like I have a very creative mind, and I str- I'm a professional procrastinator, bro. That's just what it is. <laughs> um, yeah. That's what it is straight up. I have a lot of ideas. I get, I like to map things out in my brain, and very similar to you, Moose, I just get stuck. Mm-hmm. And I'm hard. it's hard for me to put it on paper. So what I do is I, I write a lot, personally. Like, I just write, mm. and uh, you could say music or poems or whatever, maybe, but I like to write a lot. Um but my inspirations, man, it's just similar to you, Boo Boo Man. I want to leave a legacy, bro. I want yeah. my last name to live on forever. Exactly. I want to leave uh, inspiration, love. You know, I just like you, Moose. I, I love material things, and it's terrible. Mm. It's very bad because that shit does not get. You know, like that shit's gone when you're gone. Yeah. That shit. That shit does not matter at the mm-hmm. end of the day. So I just want to create something beautiful. Um, whatever it may be, whether it's music, whether it's mm-hmm. uh, f- clothing, fashion, pictures, modeling, whatever it may be, I just feel like I, I want to dabble in all those kind of areas and see where I can go with it. Um, I'm, I'm a person that takes risks. I take risks. I'm not as much as take because he fucking take risks. And he goes, <laughs> he goes. <laughs> but I, I like to say I take risks regardless of the outcome and the consequences that happen, yeah. uh, whether it's bad or good. I've made a lot of dumb decisions. Without thinking, I'm very impulsive sometimes. You know, mm-hmm. It happens. Um, but it's just the experience and my journey in it. And sometimes it takes me three times to fuck up. Sometimes it takes me four or five. Who knows? Whatever. Um, but I am who I am because of those those things I've made and those right. decisions mm-hmm. I've made. Okay. And a lot of people, I'd like to say, enjoy my presence or my company or the conversations that we have. And that's... Mm-hmm what I'd like to bring mm-hmm. to anybody. And like, just like Tay and Amy and anybody here at Sifu Ying, hello, um, have a conversation. I can get on that level wherever you want to go. I may look mean because I do have RBF. Sometimes I don't fuck with people, but that's me being real. <laughs> True. I, uh, uh, I'm going to disagree with that one because you were very sweet to me when we first met. <laughs> well, that's you. That's you. It's because you're true. handsome. Oh, <laughs> you're so sweet. Because he likes you. And, uh, oh, well, and you then, know what? I want to call this out right now. I'm going to call this out right now. Okay. You got a man crush on P. Oh, 100%. Okay. I'm going to let the world know. I'm going to let the world know. Moose would suck him off. Whoa. I'm just whoa, kidding. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ten times. Ten times. One dick ten times. Ten dude. times, ten one dick. dick. And it would be P's. No. Uh, we were not allowed to say the boys' names. Okay? <laughs> what up? Um, no, I'm just... Maddie. No, we know. I probably we know. Me, me, me and Shout Harris, out. I said, me and P, we were talking about this one time, and he's like, I was like, you know, he got a man crush. He goes, really? He's like, oh, you know what? He compliments me a lot. He does. And I was like, because you appreciate beauty. I appreciate beauty. And, uh, see, I told you he's going to say the same thing. <laughs> because I like to uh, I, I like to tell people when they look good. Yeah. I like to tell people so when, I like yeah, 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 yeah. when they're wearing I like what you're like. wearing nice. Or yeah. like, you look good. Or you have that fit is fire. Mm-hmm. That's also another thing that inspires me is like, yes. do shit you fucking exactly. like, bro. Yes, do man. shit like... People, uh, and a lot of people come to me like, you know, you have fire fits. Like, how do you put this shit together? Uh, the, you are one of the best people to dress out here, whatever, this, that, and third. And I just do, I just look at them, I say, I buy shit that I think is cool. Mm-hmm. And well, on top of that, yeah. it's one of those things, it's like, you have to think of, and this one's going to create a mind, you have to think of the cl- your closet. What do you have in there? Mm-hmm. Okay, the, when you're purchasing things, what goes well together with the pants right. that you have? What goes mm-hmm. well with the shirt you have? I, I like to, once again, if I had a six pack, which will eventually come. <laughs> I wear a crop. No bullshit. I wear a crop top. You I wear a skirt. Would. I wear bro. <laughs> I w- a, bro. Ezekiel I would. Elliott on there. Yeah. I, would, yeah. I would rock all that shit. I, I'm a unisex, bro. I'm wearing anything and everything. You would look like I the think- cheerleaders from the longest yard. <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's like shit. Tracy Morgan up in this piece. <laughs> shit. You already know the feel. Yeah, yeah, let, let, no. let me tell you guys a funny story. Um, my aunt, she saw P at the temple one time. Oh, God. And she's like, is P er, er, is Parison gay? <laughs> <laughs> another one, dude. Another, another, yeah. oh, another story, no. dude. <laughs> oh hell no! When was this? <laughs> this was like uh, maybe like six months ago or something. She's like, I saw really? Parison. Is he 
is he gay or something? <laughs> yeah. it was like, it, it was, I think you had the dangling ear. Of course. Like, no, that's, no. What is, that's the giveaway. A lot of Uncle, people think that. Uncle yeah. Noy, um, fuck, you know Uncle Noy, right? Um, he's, uh, he was Austin Isaac's yeah, yeah. dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He always gives me shit. I can't remember the, the name he would give me, but he, when he would see me with the dar- dangling earring, he'd just uh-huh. always give me shit about that too as yeah. well. It's a bold choice. Yeah. It's a bold choice. I, I got my ears gay. pierced and my grandma said I was gay. Yeah. Straight up. My, Straight dad, up. my dad did not accept. He yeah. did not talk to me for a week when he found out. She was so mad. He's like, what are you? Are you a girl? I'm like, obviously not, grandma. I'm your only grandson right now. I'm the, I'm the oldest grandson. You, you want this name to live on or no. what? I hold this name in the power of my hand right now. You guys make me feel lucky because my parents, they, I'm the youngest, so I kind of get away with anything, right? Yeah. What's up? Um, well, my they, parents let me do it. My dad actually mm-hmm. took me to get my ears pierced. Oh, oh really? So, yeah. But it's the older generation. Yeah. My grandma. Well, sister. yeah, because you're exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. My, my, grandf- mm-hmm. my parents are pretty young. They're only yeah. 16 years older than me. I know. Mm-hmm. I you just know? look good in everything, so I think they're just like at least it looks. Yeah. Hello. That's what. Hey. That's what P is trying to say. You Hello. Know? It's true, man. Yeah, yeah bro. it's true. Hundred percent. When you six two, you can look tall oh, as anything. Okay, man. Five eleven and a half. Yeah. You know, that's, that's, that's that's usually how I break the ice, though. I'm like, yeah. young. Your outfit fire. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. 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 Literally, I Anytime can respect I'm that. someone up. Boo dress up too, though. I can dress up when he steps out. I can respect that because you look good. We need more of that. Your fits are fire. In the in the male world, we need more of that. We just need to like you know tell each other we look fly. Yeah, it's true, man. I just yeah. Let them know. Let them know. I'm gonna end this off with this. The chef special today. Look fly even if you don't. Yeah, it's true. Just let man. yourself know that, that you do. Put that shit on, yeah. man. Put that shit on. Put those on. pants on. Put those you put everything the wings on. on baby. Um, and then when I, I'm going to end it off with my inspiration right now. Um, yes. Because, it, like I said, inspirations change. Mm-hmm. I do want to kind of let you guys know where I'm kind of at my mindset right now. Okay. And I kind of just gave it away a little as we were <laughs> doing this. Um, I want more people to feel like they can do this. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I, yeah. No, when I tell you, like when I when I brought Oscar in here, and we, Chase he's like, dreams. he's like, let's shoot, let's shoot a fake one right now. He tried to record on his phone. We, he started talking, and he, he's like, yeah, it's my boy Tay. We in Salt Lake City, <laughs> and then he got stuck, and he's like, bro, what the hell? You guys do this all the time? Yeah. I'm like, check out the episodes. Let it yeah. be known. We out here really actually trying to put on a show for y'all. Like, yeah. whether it's us just talking about shit that we do for fun, mm-hmm. you know, or. Take it serious for a moment. Calm down. Bring it back to earth a little and let you guys know the human side of us. We want you guys to do the same. We want mm. you guys really to be on your own shit. I want yeah. you guys to hold yourselves accountable. True, yes. I want you guys to feel our, our our emotion, our whatever you guys feel from this. I want you guys to take it away mm-hmm. and times that by 10 and let it be known that right. you can do whatever the fuck you Just, want. You got to right. go at it. That's it. Fell once, it. do it again. Fell twice, do it again. Yeah. It doesn't matter how many times you what fell. What I say on like yeah. episode two or three, what yeah. I was like, failure and pain is inevitable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Misery is a choice. Exactly. Yes, sir. Misery is a choice. Yeah. It's so necessary, yeah. especially coming from a guy. I fuck up a lot. Mm-hmm. Oh, I fuck no, up you only fuck twice. <laughs> you only fuck up twice. Remember, you told the third time's a charm. Hey, Amen. <laughs> <laughs> it's on one thing, but I fuck up a lot on a lot of multiple things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's a it's a part of the learning process. Don't let it hinder you. Don't let it hold you back. Yeah. Um. And you know, you can always turn it around. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. can always turn around. And uh, before we do end this off, I know this could be a little short episode, but I want you guys to. He's here. Like he's he's approached me for, uh, approached me approached me with the ideas of doing stuff with us, and I wasn't okay with having him added in yet <laughs> you know i mean i said let time take its course and we'll figure things out and i talked about this before as already um but let them know about the brand that you plan on doing you know yeah. what what are outside of us you yeah. have your own individual thing that you would like course, to start to of course i like i said i like to be a creator um and the name i created this is when i was working a job that i had a, it was a tough job it was in sales i was a corporate advisor it was a 1099 job, straight commission, and they uh, they helped me build a business, essentially, so I can take advantage of taxes. And I came up with this name, and it has my initials, and it's called a proper paragon. Mm-hmm. Let them know, so P. proper is genuine, and then a paragon means a perfect example. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not necessarily chasing that, but at the same token, it's something that sits with me because that is, it's, it's not achievable by any means, you know, being a perfect example but being able to leave something that may be perfect to another individual mm-hmm. or myself or a loved one is something that I love to do. Right. Um, so I have aspirations to kind of create that brand, um, make music as well as once again, make clothing under that as well. Mm-hmm. But I've always had this idea in the back of my head 
Um, like I said, it has my initials. And like I said, it's just something that I want to live on. And you guys will see shortly here soon. We'll get it together. You're going crazy. We're going to get them. Exactly. Overall, overall, it sounds like a lifestyle thing. You know, mm-hmm. absolutely. Lifestyle. Everything you're that you want to do. You're a genuine, perfect mm-hmm. yeah. example. Like you want to, yeah. you want to, like I said, it's something you shouldn't chase, but like Boo Boo says and Moose says, you just want to be better every yeah. single lead by day. example. And just mm-hmm. lead by right. exactly lead by example mm-hmm. and be that perfect and genuine and honest yeah. and yourself. Mm-hmm. Be okay with yourself yeah, man. and who you want to be. All the others that don't fuck with you will fall off, and that's okay. That's okay. And the it people really that love is. you and support you and want to be around will be around. Right. The yes. team only gets stronger. Yeah. The family only gets bigger. You know, that's since, all it is. since, since that's P went, can we go? Huh? You, you want to yeah. go? Go ahead. Like a little shout out, like something cool that we want to do. Yeah, yeah. Go, ahead. go ahead. There's a lot of chef yeah. specials today. Yeah, a lot yeah. of chef specials. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, my dream, I want to make home <laughs> goods. Home goods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Home goods. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah, that's I want to make yeah. like uh, kitchenware, stuff that you can put in your room, yeah. different furniture. Oh. That's the dream. Yeah. I fuck with that. Because yeah. I know clothes are always going to be there. Of course. Oh, clothes are always going to come. Mm-hmm. But I just like... Home aesthetics. I want my own like... Where you're living like, Dinner spaces. set, yeah, yeah. Or my own chair, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. A yeah. moose woods <laughs> Beef. bed set. The Tomago oh, chair. Shit. The Tomago chair. Uh, tomago? <laughs> the Tomago <laughs> chair? The Tomago? Beef. Yeah, From beef. Okay. What about you, boo-boo? My dream, man... Just to just to enjoy life, man, with the people that I got. Literally, yeah, of course, man. Mm-hmm. Just make do with what you have, and mm-hmm. uh, whatever that do is, just increase it, make it bigger, Increase. keep it going, improve. Oh, That's yeah. all it is. Yeah. That's all it is. Little by little. Me, Ted? me. If I, if I guess if I don't really dream too much, I don't really think about <clears> stuff <throat> like that too, like too far out, right? Mm. I'm more <laughs> of like. Let's get it done now. See, and if see, anyone see, knows, think that's bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> you know what's bullshit is that the person that she met had dreams. Mm-hmm. The person she's with now doesn't. Right. Because I've did it. I've done it all. I've done whatever I've everything I've talked to her about, I've accomplished. Yeah. Now the only next step is make the first meal. Mm-hmm. Then the next step after that, I told her before 35, we'd be millionaires. Mm-hmm. And that's that's the next goal. And like that's not a dream. That's just another goal and accolade that I want to get yeah. there. I want to make that first meal, move to the next step, travel. I want to travel a lot. First I want to just, I want to live life, live it without having to worry about anything. Yeah. Oh, I Ooh. guess I don't dream too much. No, it's the same thing. I don't, you just, I just take live. action. Yeah, I just dream just take all action. the fucking time. I don't, <laughs> and for me, it's like, I, I do dream. I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't daydream. <laughs> I'm a dreamer. So there's a, there's nothing wrong with dreaming. Too. No, no. You know, there's a lot of guys like me. We, it's fun to dream. Yes. It's okay. It's okay. Because also I love fantasy too. And yeah. fantasy right. in itself is a dream. Mm-hmm. And fashion is a dream realized. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's true. It's true. Hello. Yeah. You know, and that's, and, but like I said, there's, it's for me, I'm not much of a dreamer. I don't really think that far ahead. I have to, I think when we talked about the death thing, the one thing that death taught me is that you may, not have a time to live out that dream. Yeah. And for me, in the back of my mind, I don't want to think that. I don't want to think that I left the world without accomplishing certain things in life, you know? 100%. Mm-hmm. And that's what kind of where I'm at. Yeah. But, you know, that's where I'm at right now. And this episode to you guys, uh, take it for what it may be, but you guys got to go in on us for a more personal level. Yeah. Yeah. Today, we mm-hmm. let you guys know who we I are a little more. And that's the one thing about more about nothing. There's You'll always more to more, nothing. Always more to nothing. Mm-hmm. But nothing lasts forever. And, and you're always, forever, you're going to take those, you're going to take that shit and you're going to live with it. Yeah. <laughs> right? What's the chef special? <clears throat> there was too many chef special today. I'm going to just say, ch- it, chase right? your dreams. Yeah. Chase your dreams. One, you know what? Dreams. Everyone give a chef special today because this is an inspiration episode. It's aspirations <laughs> as well. <laughs> you go first. Okay? Go ahead. Go ahead, boo-boo. Enjoy yours. Nothing Enjoy lasts yours. forever, nothing man. Nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever, man. Enjoy yours. I'm Batman. <laughs> be Batman. <laughs> um, <laughs> I should be Batman. <laughs> Maybe. Find your happy place. Right. And like I said, chase your dreams. Chase your dreams. Fuck everybody else. Be that person that everyone hates. <laughs> because the day that you realize that you're everyone that hates, you're going to realize you're the only one that was real to them. Hello. <laughs> That's such a fucking taste chef special. <laughs> That's a <Hello>. hey. <laughs> But he thank re- you guys. He, he really think everybody hate him. Just subscribe here. and like, please. It was always episode a pleasure. Seven. Thank y'all for being here. Thank Let's y'all get for the tuning outro. in. Thank you. Thank you so All much. All love. See y'all Man. soon. This really was lucky number seven. Was it? Yeah. Do you feel that? I told yeah. you. I told you. Damn. New pop-up soon coming. Don't get it fucked up either. <laughs> Three plus four is seven. <laughs> Three plus four is seven, baby. <laughs>